those vegan guys. Oh, thank you. Hello, beautiful people, and welcome back to another kitchen vlog with me, Paul, of those vegan guys. Um, as you will have seen by the title, today's uh, vlog is a, a, a definite and defined one. Um, it, you may or may not know that the month of February is uh, it designated as <coughs> LGBT History Month. And during our uh, Pink Triangle Theatre days, um, LGBT History Month was a big part of what we did. Uh, and it was uh, the um, most common time for us to get bookings in uh, schools. Now, uh, if you don't know what uh, Pink Triangle Theatre is or what we did, um, Pink Triangle Theatre was uh, a collaboration um, between myself, uh, Jason, my husband, Stuart, our dear friend, who you see on the channel regularly, and uh, a guy called Tom at the time uh, and it was um, uh, my brainchild um, to start it uh, and it was at the time uh, it, it was triggered by a homophobic attack in Liverpool on a PCSO out off duty at the time uh, and his boyfriend at a bus stop uh, he was called James Parks um, I did uh, I did a very old vlog about James Parks on my old actor reactor channel um, about you know and that was kind of the starting point anyway we started this theatre uh, group um, and created a show called show one to take around schools and start the discussion about homophobia and uh, uh, transphobia and tackling it uh, and there is actually um, a video uh, filmed by somebody else uh, a great guy he's named at the beginning of the video obviously um, of a performance of show one at an LGBT history month event uh, just a couple of weeks after my dad died actually um, and if you're interested in seeing that uh, performance piece I shall link it up there so why is LGBT History Month important? Um, it's important because uh, you know it, it, it was only uh, mere decades ago and only a couple of decades ago that homosexuality was uh, taken off the list of mental illnesses um, by the World Health Organization and of course you know uh, Jason and I had a civil partnership in 2009 which we then converted to a marriage <clears throat> in 2015 which is a simple office exercise um, <clears throat> but just the fact that we couldn't do that until then tells you why LGBT History Month is important and a big part of what we did was highlight what uh, LGBT people go through what situations are kind of normalised and I do hope that you will look at the Pink Triangle Theatre piece because um, it, was, it was largely written by uh, myself and Stuart um, with collaborations and pieces from everybody else that was involved and there were many people involved the performance that we have on video which I've already linked was uh, myself Jason Jay Bradley and Lee Eakins um, definitely one of our A teams uh, and um, yeah we, we and we talked about Alan Turing uh, of course it that one always got me because I mean we performed at a school once with a building called the Alan Turing building and when we uh, performed for the kids we always asked at the end uh, we did the performance and then we had a question and answer workshop and anybody could ask anything and they did uh, young people are very curious and very hungry for information and often 
bitter when they realise that there's this huge part of society that they've never been told about. Uh, and we used to ask for a raise of hands. Um, raise your hand if you if you know who Alan Turing is. And very few people ever uh, raise their hands. And if you don't know, uh, don't feel bad about that. His story, although highlighted more over the last decade than ever before, and he's now, of course, on the £50 note. Alan Turing was basically the forefather of computer technology. Uh, the reason that you're watching this now uh, on YouTube, be it on a mobile device or a PC, um, a, a large part of our ability to do all these technological things uh, that are computerised is thanks to Alan Turing. Um, he headed the team that cracked the Enigma code uh, during World War II. And... Um, this country treated him uh, horrifically. He uh, reported a burglary at his house <clears throat> and then it came out that he had been spending some, some time with uh, a young man um, and, you know, canoodling. And so he was charged with uh, gross indecency and sentenced to uh, either a prison sentence or what they call chemical castration where they bombard your body with synthetic female hormones to stop your libido uh, the guy was basically growing breasts by the time he bit the poisoned apple and died um, so yeah, Alan Turing is a, a, a legend, hence of course him now being on the new uh, £50 note, which most of us will never get to see, will we? I mean, come on. So, being um, a young LGBT person, has got progressively better over the years but that's speaking in uh, societally and legally but not so long back because of books being used in schools books that uh, you know um, w w kids books but uh, about uh, same-sex parents you know like Jake and Danny uh, the Daddies of Lucy, that kind of thing. And then you had um, all these people, uh, largely, it must be said, very religious people, protesting outside a school in Birmingham. And at the time, me and Jason were, and there was stuff going on in Brunei as well, and at the time, uh, Jason and I did one, one of our kitchen vlogs together at the kitchen table uh, about homophobia and why it was important to tackle it head on um, and uh, so on and so forth. Uh, it was in the... Um, yeah, I, do you know what? I'll just link it up there. Should you fancy having a look at it? I'll link it up there. And what we also did as part of our work with Pink Triangle Theatre, um, and I don't profess that this is anything uh, wonderful, trust me, I'm fully aware of what it is. Um, we uh, borrowed a camera, threw together a script, um, and made a short little film called uh, Dear Alan, a tribute to Alan Turing. We made it specifically so that we could take a DVD along to every school we performed at and said, and say, hey, look, there's this. It's a great way of starting the conversation about who Alan was uh, and what happened to him. Um, and it, the film tells the story of Clive, uh, a teacher um, who's been obsessed with Alan Turing since he was a kid. When he reaches the age that Alan never quite got to, he takes a letter that he wrote when he was 12 and sealed in an envelope down to the um, sitting statue in Sackville Park uh, in Manchester t 
to read it and um, it was a little artistic endeavour that we made many years ago like I say as a free resource for schools um, and it did help and it did start the discussion uh, we re-uploaded it to this channel um, so I'll link it uh, up there because it's a it's a it's a cute thing uh, to maybe have a look at if you're uh, a bit bored one day and uh, uh, so yeah LGBT History Month is uh, really important for uh, us LGBT people to stay present and um, <coughs> uh, visible um, which is of course one of mine and Jason's aims as <coughs> A gay married couple is to remain visible uh, that's very important for us because we um, Sue who's like uh, a very important part of LGBT History Month um, she hates the term normalize because what's normal that's what Sue would say um, so actualized we're actually there we this is an actual thing and we live in the same world you do we just happen to be a gay married couple you know um, so yeah we 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 that's as much as it's important for us to uh, promote how down to earth and uh, easy and cheap it is or can be to be vegan what we also try to do is to be an example that uh, we're a gay married couple we don't necessarily go on the gay scene just because we're not bar people um we live our lives as a vi as a visible actualized gay couple everybody knows Paul and Jason are married um, and that that's important um, so yeah right I've waffled haven't I for quite a while was there any other video I wanted to link in this what I did want to do is read you this so in this came up this is what I suppose has triggered this video. I should have done an LGBT History Month video earlier in the month. Uh, but here we are. So yes, I've got contact lenses in. And yes, I still have to wear my glasses to read. Because the text. Oh. Look how tiny it is. So. Uh, I'm going to link this article down there um, but this is from a magazine called Mancunian Matters and it is uh, it was an interview I did with them in 2015 uh, and as it says at the start to celebrate LGBT History Month Mancunian Matters talked to LGBT figures from across Greater Manchester about their experiences of coming out and what progress they think the city still has to make towards equality. So it's a long article and I answered lots of questions for them but the important part of the article for me was to get this bit published because at the time on our Pink Triangle Theatre page on Facebook we'd um, done a whole kind of series of uh, a letter to uh, the 12 year old you what would you say to 12 year old you if you had the chance you know and that was coming from an LGBT perspective so I wrote this one as part of that and people were sharing theirs and it was lovely and it was a really kind of um, deep and cathartic period for Pink Triangle Theatre and for all the people involved with us we were involved with our page the kids who'd seen us perform at schools uh, so on and so forth um, anyway I found it 
such a cathartic experience writing this letter and I think it's it's something I would recommend to everybody just from a psychological perspective from a, a, a mental health perspective writing a letter to your 12 year old self can be a really good experience so I'll read your mind but again I would urge you to read the article because it's quite interesting dearest 12 year old Paul you don't know it yet but inside you there is a strength building that will take you really far not in travel finance or stature but in soul honesty and compassion you are destined to do good even great things and your future work will matter really really matter all of the things you are going through right now are the building blocks to the man you will one day become. Yes, I know it's tough. I know you're often made to feel alien, less than, inferior. But they are only words. Nothing but words. Being gay is only a part of who you are. It isn't now, nor will it ever be all that you are. I wish I could reach back and hand you a note telling you this. It's so very important. You'll hear all kinds of names and insults. There will be shoulder barges, kicks, spit in your face and so many other things that will make you cry at the time but will strengthen the good in you like you can't even imagine right now. Trust in this. Believe in yourself, sweet boy. Some of the people in your life right now will be there forever. Some won't. Cherish them all, regardless. They all have some part of themselves to share with you, and you with them. As for that other Paul, the one who waits for you on your walk to school with his friend, the one who keeps busting your nose, pity him. Start catching the buzz, you will, I know this, and avoid these confrontations with him. He'll end up a blatantly racist member of the BNP, divorced and hated by his kids. It isn't your fault, it's just who he is. Call Samaritans as many times as you need to, that's why they're there, and talking to them will really help. I love you more than I have ever, or will ever love anything or anyone in my life again. You're a great kid. Talented, kind and loving. Hold on to all of that. <sighs> See you in a few years, kiddo. <laughs> For the record, it's really worth the wait. Paul, kiss, kiss, kiss. Oh. Ooh. Oh, I'd forgotten now. Sweet, that was. It was a. Uh, it was an amazing little exercise, and it it did it did me really good at the time, and others said it did them good too. It just felt it felt cathartic and cleansing and to some people very much a purge a needed purge um, so yeah uh, LGBT History Month is important because there are still um, there are still stories that uh, defy explanation um, and I'm going to tell you two of them right now um, these stories and others uh, appeared at the end of every Pink Triangle Theatre performance. It was a massive part of what we did. We had to make it real.
So um Michael Causa was a young man just kind of finding himself and he was at a, a, a I believe it was a house party um, but had was staying there so had had already gone to bed uh, and some people went through his phone guys went through his phone and realized that uh, he was gay and they woke him up by um, burning the hairs on his legs and other random cruel acts and beat him in the head with a hardback book because he was gay hi Isis and then um, when he was unconscious threw him into uh, a neighbour's garden to try and pin it on somebody else and uh, Michael died later in hospital with his parents by his side 18 years old because he was gay UK the one that always got me the most Gisberta was a beautiful trans woman living in Portugal she was a sex worker and unfortunately she was homeless so she, she was staying on this um, building site I believe it was 16 young boys between the ages of 10 and 14 or 14 young boys between the ages of 10 and 16 who had been taught that people like his bird to wear abhorrent come to me if you want some attention they knew where Gisberta was on this building site so they went and they tied her up they beat her severely they raped her with bottles and branches they burned her with cigarettes then they beat her some more then they went back to the boys home orphanage run by the Catholic Church no doubt had a nice meal and a good night's sleep and the next day they went back and did it all again then they went back for a meal and a good night's sleep and they went back a third day and they did it all again while Gisberta was tied up they beat her raped her with objects at the end of the third day with Gisberta unconscious they thought that she was dead they threw her body into a ten foot pit on the building site when Gisberta was found she had mud in her lungs 
So after three days of torture, at the hands of children who'd been taught that her and her kind were abominations, three days of torture, Gisberta was still alive when she went into the pit. This and a thousand other reasons and a million other stories and a hundred thousand other people are the reasons why LGBT History Month is important and the stories we used to tell. <clears throat> so I hope that you've learned something about LGBT History Month and why it's because it, it all ties into the same thing. This is also the reason we have prides. It isn't about shoving our lifestyle in your face. It's about saying we are visible. We are actual. We're here. We exist. And you have no right to hurt us because you don't agree with who we are. You have ruined the end of this video because of all the bag stuff and the meowing. You could see I was busy doing something, but no, you had to make it all about you. Bring me the bag if you want to go in the bag. Oh. I better go and put my child in a bag. She really... All right, in a minute, I'll finish this. Rude. I hope you enjoyed some part of this video and do please have a look at all the other stuff uh, that I've whacked up there. And if I think of anything else, I'll just kind of I don't know what that was. I'll be editing this and I'll think, oh, I should have said that. There you go, I've left your, I've left your space pot right there. So any, yes, from this 50 year old gay man who has uh, been through the mill <laughs> um, with my own story of acceptance, um, including with my own parents, there you go. I'll put the story of me and my dad up there as well, which is uh, it was a separate thing filmed uh, just a couple of weeks after his funeral. There you go, you're nearly here now. I better go and bag my child. Doesn't sound right, does it? It's not right. It's just mental. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'll be back again soon with another kitchen vlog. Until then, be excellent to yourself and each other. Come on. Really hope you've enjoyed the video. Please do like and subscribe. It helps us out loads. It really does. And check down there in the description because you'll find loads of links. The two ways that you can best support us to keep the channel going are through becoming a patron on our Patreon down there in the description or buying our merch, darling. Fabulous link down there. We deal with a fabulous vegan company called Vegan Original. Check it out, guys.